Breaking right now, the Deflate Gate report released an independent investigation finding evidence that the New England Patriots broke NFL rules and suggesting that quarterback Tom Brady was probably aware of what was happening inside his team's locker room. Hello, I'm Ty Hernandez in New York. Moments ago, Patriots owner Robert Kraft saying this about the report, quote, throughout the process of this nearly four month investigation, we have cooperated and patiently awaited its outcome to say we are disappointed in its findings, which do not include any incontrovertible or hard evidence of deliberate deflation of footballs at the AFC championship game would be a gross understatement. So let's get right to it. We have ABC's Aaron Katursky standing by. Aaron, what are the details of the report? Well, it's just that, look, it is not a hard and fast evidence, but it is a very damning circumstantial case that not only did the Patriots deflate footballs before the AFC championship game on purpose, they did so with the knowledge and, and maybe even the, the explicit instruction from the quarterback, Tom Brady, who went on not only to win the Super Bowl, but also the Super Bowl MVP uh, award. And that is why the statement from the Patriots uh, seems like the team is rather upset with this. At the same time, the team says it is not going to dispute the findings. It's not going to waste the time, the team said. And so the NFL is considering what to do. Okay, so a little bit uh, more detail. Tom Brady may have instructed uh, this to be done and the team knew about it. Where, where does it stop in terms of responsibility? Well, there's only three people the report seems to implicate. Brady, uh, along with a, a locker room attendant and an equipment assistant. Uh, and those three may have been in some kind of coordination. But the report is not entirely conclusive. It simply says it is more probable than not that the uh, locker room uh, assistant and the, the equipment assistant uh, ended up uh, deflating footballs on, on purpose. And they had exchanged some text messages in the, the weeks and months before the AFC championship talking about uh, Brady's happiness or unhappiness with the footballs. If they're underinflated, they're a little bit easier to grip. And Brady apparently liked his, his footballs inflated to a, a certain uh, PSI. And so one of the, uh, these uh, equipment uh, assistants was joking with the locker room attendant about being the deflator and providing him with a needle. And he said, well, if you're going to give me the needle, it better be surrounded by cash and new kicks, meaning new sneakers, suggesting some kind of a, a quid pro quo. The Patriots said this was all in jest, but the investigators uh, hired by the NFL, Ted Wells and his law firm here in New York, uh, said that they just didn't buy uh, all of this stuff was, was merely a joke. So it looks like uh, those investigators hired by the NFL to do this investigation went a little bit further than just asking questions. Uh, what kinds of material did they have to base their conclusion on? Well, they, they had text messages, they had phone records, they found that Tom Brady uh, spoke with the, uh, the equipment assistant several times as these allegations of football tampering were becoming public. And uh, that was unusual given the, the, the phone history of Tom Brady. Uh, and, and the investigators also uh, said they did not believe the scientific explanation that was offered by Coach Bill Belichick and other Patriots officials that maybe the atmosphere, the weather, everything that kind of came into play when it, when it came to the, the, uh, the inflation of the footballs, they, it just didn't hold water. And, and so not only did they implicate uh, these three uh, members of the Patriots, they also seemed to discount any other explanation. Uh, just before the, the AFC championship game, the investigators found the, uh, the locker room attendant took the Patriots game balls after they were inspected by the referee and walked off toward the field. And this was in breach of standard operating procedure. Uh, there was a, a minute 40 second gap when that locker room attendant had the footballs with him in the bathroom. And the, the report doesn't say specifically, but suggests that perhaps he had a needle and used it to uh, deflate the footballs to Tom Brady's preferred PSI at that moment. So we heard from the Patriots owner at the start of this segment with you. What about the head coach? What's the response here from the team? Sounds like they're fully backing Brady and they dispute the report, even though they're not going to take any further steps. It, it, it seems that way, and, and the tone is, is fairly angry, and I think uh, that there, there's real concern 
about some of the implications. The NFL said it is going to consider possible disciplinary action, whether that means the, uh, the, the, the Tom Brady himself could be punished in some way as one of the game's most high-profile players. It would certainly be uh, a, a rather uh, a damning thing for the league to do, although they, they've been taking uh, disciplinary action uh, against teams for less, including one team that piped in some crowd noise, uh, and, and, and there was a, a, you know, a couple of cases like that. So the, the NFL is now considering what to do, and the Patriots ha have long maintained the, the, this sort of atmospheric weather-type explanation. But again, the investigators weren't buying it. Yeah, and Brady, how much did he truly participate in the investigation? How much uh, did he uh, give the investigators in terms of what they requested? Not, not, not enough, uh, according to the investigators. Uh, uh, besides an interview, uh, he did not turn over records that the investigators had asked for, and that only fueled their suspicions about what Brady may have known, how much he may have instructed the, uh, the, these two guys to, to, to deal with the footballs, whether he may have promised some autographed material that would uh, give this guy who labeled himself the deflator in text messages a little extra incentive. And, and so the, the, taken together, it, it is not a pretty picture for the Patriots and their star quarterback, although there is seemingly nothing in the 243-page report that confirms the account. This is, as the report says, more probable than not. All right. Well, ABC's Aaron Katursky, I want to thank you so much for bringing us those details and that analysis. Also following this breaking news for us, ESPN's Darren Ravel. Darren, what does this report mean for the organization? Well, you know, as Aaron alluded to, you know, Tom Brady is not only the Patriots star, he's really the star of the league. Um, so if you think about it in that way, it's not only to the organization, but to the league, you know, this is yet another embarrassing thing that's happened to them, uh, given the most tumultu tumultuous year in NFL history in terms of what's happened off the field. Now, this is something that's happened on the field. And um, so given the fact that Tom Brady is who he is, um, perhaps the most marketable guy in the league, uh, with his Super Bowl rings, with his model Giselle Bündchen wife, his endorsements. Um, you know, the fact that he is now hinted to be part of this, that he did not cooperate, and now, uh, you know, we'll have to see what the league uh, kind of imposes on him. Uh, this is yet another tough time for the league that this conclusion was reached. Is it realistic to think that this team is going to suffer a consequence or Tom Brady, given that uh, the findings are probable, not completely, uh, uh, completely conclusive in terms of what really happened? Well, listen, I, I think that they paid Ted Wells, the investigator, a lot of money. They gave him a lot of time to do what he did here. And, and this is not a court of law. Uh, this is whatever the NFL and Roger Goodell want to make of it. Um, and, and, and as Aaron said, that Robert Kraft is not going to contest whatever the NFL comes, comes, you know, decides to do here. But, but yeah, no, this is not a, a court of law. They don't have to prove something beyond a, a reasonable doubt. Um, but this is as close to uh, proving it as they could. Um, the other part, Aaron also mentioned, Tom Brady did not cooperate beyond giving an interview. He did not turn over emails and electronic records, voicemails or texts that they were looking for. And that makes it hard to defend Tom Brady here. You don't need to know a lot about football to know that this is a team that dominates. So how surprising is it that they would resort to such a small tactic overall in terms of the game to get an edge? Well, uh, the report says that there wasn't anything greater, uh, as such as the, the Patriots uh, as a whole deciding to do this or Bill Belichick, the coach, deciding to do this. Although it is actually, you know, it has been standard practice, although it has been against the rules for quarterbacks over time to do this type of thing. If you have a ball with uh, lower air pressure it is going, and it's going to be a softer ball, it is going to be easier to throw. But if you look at the history of the Patriots, they, of course, have 
Deflate Gate, uh, uh, Deflate Gate, and then they they also have uh, the situation where they were filming practice, um, which uh, Bill Belichick was fined a maximum of five hundred thousand dollars. The organization was also fined. So they've done things before uh, that that the league has come down on, and you could say, well, taping another team's signals or practice or you know that's against the rules. Why would they do that? That also seems small. So um, I, I'm not sure that this is surprising when you think about quarterbacks in the past. After this came out, there were a bunch of quarterbacks who said, yeah, we all did this. Yes, it was against the rules, but this is something we all did. I think the question going forward now beyond this is, what is the league going to do? Uh, is the league going to keep the balls in their possession, in the possession of the referees, the officials, until the game starts? I think a lot of fans were surprised that the team actually gets to take them before the game, do what they want with them, and then put it in the field of play. And I think besides the discipline, the league's going to have to look into that as well. So the NFL has weathered much more serious accusations about the conduct of players really off the field. How does this compare in terms of that? I mean, on the one hand, it's a pretty minor offense in terms of the other accusations that have been made about players, but on the other end, it could directly impact the game itself. Well, you know, some people will say this is bigger. Um, some fans will say this is bigger, and that's not to take away from all the horrible things that have happened off the field, but we're dealing with integrity here. Um, People will say this is cheating. Um, this is, you know, when you are a fan and you're watching a game, you rely on the fact that it is a fair game, that both that both fans, uh, uh, both sides have an equal chance to win. And if something is hitting at the integrity of the game, then that could be an issue. And I think so. That's why if this comes to cheating, that's that's a problem. Do you think we'll see Tom Brady respond? I don't know. I think the discipline might come first. I think it depends on what the team wants him to do as well. All right. ESPN's Darren Ravel, thank you so much for joining us and following this story. And you can keep up with this story in real time by downloading the ABC News app and starring the story for exclusive updates on the go. I'm Ty Hernandez in New York.